Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about hemostasis. In particular, I'm going to talk about the formation of clots, thrombi, and antiplatelet drugs. Now first of all, I want to make a couple of definitions. The first one is a clot. Now a clot is good. A clot stops bleeding. For instance, when you injure yourself, you clot and stop bleeding. A thrombus, on the other hand, is bad. It's also a clot, but it happens within a blood vessel, so it actually blocks the vessels. So let's look at how this happens. I'll draw out a blood vessel here. And in this blood vessel, of course, we'll have some red blood cells. Now this is a bit of damage to the endothelium. The endothelial cells are the cells that make up the blood vessel walls. So if you get some damage to those, for instance, a break within the vessel wall, then you'll get a bit of collagen exposed here. Collagen is a protein which is integral to the structure of vessel walls. Now when you have some collagen exposed like this, you get platelets sticking to it. And these are little platelets, they're just floating around in the blood. And they start to stick to it like this. Now when that happens, the platelets get activated and they release a chemical out into the bloodstream which calls on more platelets. This chemical is called thromboxane A2. You may have heard of this before in the arachidonic acid pathway. If you haven't, have a look at the video on arachidonic acid and eicosanoids on handwritten tutorials. Now this calls more platelets onto the scene. Then, on top of the platelets, we get a bunch of proteins called fibrin. And they're basically big fibrous strands that help make the blood clot, and they stick the platelets together. Then this fibrin will trap a couple of red blood cells in it. And then on top of that, you'll get even more fibrin deposited. And then this process kind of repeats, and this is what causes a clot or a thrombus. Now this whole process can be avoided if you stop the thromboxane production by platelets. And this is done with a COX inhibitor or a cyclooxygenase inhibitor. Again, have a look at the arachidonic acid and eicosanoids tutorial on handwrittentutorials.com for more information. An example of a COX inhibitor is aspirin, and that blocks the thromboxane A2 production. And this means that the platelets won't stick together and the clot won't be formed. In this way, you can actually stop thrombi forming, but a side effect is that you can also get excessive bleeding. And that's an overview of clots, thrombi, and antiplatelets. We'll have a look at how the production of fibrin is controlled in the next tutorial. For more free tutorials and the PDF which accompanies this tutorial, visit www.handwrittentutorials.com.